ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, going to get in a lot of trouble with this one. Ladies and gents, got something I want to talk to you about. Hey, Hall and Oates, we're going to leave Hall and Oates alone, and we can go to Al Green for now. They don't like it when I play Hall and Oates, ladies and gentlemen, the most successful dual male group in the history of music. Hall and Oates. Ladies and gentlemen, I have something that I need to discuss with you guys. I need to tell you what's been going on, and I know many of you who are my people. Hold on now. It's all right, y'all. Many of you who are my people are going to understand, and you're going to be kind of pissed off, the same as I'm pissed off. I want to apologize to all of you. It's going to be a minute before I do another video. You have my word. I have some information to give you guys. I have a lot of information to give you. But I'm not going to be giving any more information anytime soon. If I do any videos, it will, no, it won't be any videos. We'll be sending out emails to our clients for the different organizations. But I am going to stop with the videos for quite a while. I'm going to explain to you all why. Because such as necessary. So let's do the first thing. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to pause you for a second. I'm going to basically let you know something. I did a video last night and I referred to this document, Form D4A, Certificate of Non-Resident of the District of Columbia. Remember, everything is the District of Columbia. Go ahead and look at DC code. 1-102 through 1-103, you will see that the District of Columbia is a corporation. Each one of you are said to be part of the corporation. This is what Thomas Clark Nelson was bringing to your attention. He proved it in his documents. Thomas Clark Nelson's documents is under our PDF section. Go and look at the 14th Amendment, Citizen is a Trojan. The 14th Amendment is a Trojan horse. It's the name of the document. It explains that. So all of you are pay attention all of you every single one of you are a citizen of the district of columbia because you live in a district district of los angeles district of puerto rico district of guam district of san juan district of laris district of arecibo district of lecture louisiana district of laplace louisiana district of phoenix arizona district of Socorro, New Mexico, District of Chicago, Illinois. Everything is a district, a school district, some type of district. You all live in the district. So go ahead and fill out your non-residency form. Now let's follow the instructions. Remember I told you, you got to follow their policies. You must file, you must, M-U-S-T, a form D-4-A if you are not a resident of D.C. You must file a form D4A with your employer to establish that you are not subject to DC's income tax withholdings. Ladies and gentlemen, I was getting ready to put forth the document for you guys for you to use. Um, I'm sorry, but I've need to explain to you why I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I've had enough. D-N-O-U-G-H T. I've had enough. What do I mean by I've had enough? Ladies and gentlemen, I, I want you guys to understand something. I put this information out to you all for free. I don't charge you anything. You don't have to pay anything. All you got to do is put up with me my antics and all of that. That's the only thing you have to do is put up with me. You don't have to do anything else. But people are taking the information that they're getting from me and who are they coming up? Now, 
that's not a problem because I told them that's what I need for them to do, start their own businesses and everything. But they're coming up and they're keeping the information to themselves. They're not coming back to me and saying, you know what, hey, e, I tried what you said and look at what we've been able to accomplish. Not, E, I tried what you said and I'm stuck. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the people who have actually had some success. So look, in 2018, I was working with a person. We were exchanging information. I told him, I will give you my time. I will help you perfect what you're doing. He was writing to the treasury. He was recognizing the treasury over in uh, Puerto Rico. Treasury recognizes him now, recognizes him as a special officer dealing with certain instruments. Ain't that something? Ooh, -wee. he took one of them hour style money orders. Yep, he did, and he filed it. Oh, he added some language to it, and he filed it, and along with some other paperwork. Man, built a house from the ground up since 2019, not 18, sorry. We were communicating in 2018 on a regular basis, three, four, five times a day, sending emails, tons of emails. Ladies and gentlemen, when I came off vacation, I contacted him immediately because I promised him because I utilized some of his information and I shared it with all of you. But I promised him that I would give him $300,000 in tax credits. Ladies and gentlemen, I got out. I wanted to keep my promise. He hasn't bothered to contact me not one time. Not a return email, nothing. Not a return phone call, nothing. I've called him, nothing. Ignores me as if I don't exist. We had an agreement that if he had success, he was supposed to share with me his success. I believe that's what he's afraid of, sharing it with me. I believe he wants to be the selfish person. That's okay, I'm not gonna put his name out there. I just want you guys to see what I'm going through. There was a young lady who took one of the hour style money orders, particular format that was created by me. I did it on a private side. I didn't put it out there in video. Somebody helped her because she had a financial house situation going on. There's the third person, hold on. The third person that's done this stupid bull. She, took the money order, attached a certain piece of paper to it. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is because I ain't got time for it no more, y'all. She got the treasury to recognize her hour style money order, ladies and gentlemen. Not only did they recognize it, but they returned it to her after they paid her. Follow me on this if y'all don't mind. She purchased a house. Purchased a brand new car, BMW, mind you, lets you know where materialism lies. And did some other things. When the person who gave her the information communicated with her about that, she told him she would only share what she did for $20,000. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I told him, I said, no, go ahead and accept her offer. Tell her if you can get the loan, you'll give her $20,000. So that's, it's a fair deal. You know, oh no, she ain't gonna want it on a tail and she wants it up front. What the? I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. We're not even gonna talk about the lady in Texas when she was instructed at the closing, take that deed of trust and go file it on the record before they can go file it on the record. That kills all of that, you owe us some money and they get to file a lien. She did that, got the house free and clear, ain't had to make no payment. Ain't gonna talk about the guy in California who followed the instructions about the reconveyance, went and found it on the record, put it in his case while going through foreclosure, the whole case disappeared. You can't find the case, he's got his house free and clear. None of these ignorant mothers wanted to help anybody else out but themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to understand, if you can't hear the stress in my voice, because there's a whole lot of anger right now. 
all of these hours of me giving you guys information. Lately, you've seen there's been an uptick in the views on the channel because I've been giving information to the people who knew a little bit more than most of you. On purpose, they've been watching, I've been told they've been watching. It's been guided back to me that certain people have been watching who I have some respect for. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but I don't have any more time for this. This is, as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you guys must understand that I do believe that this all is coming to an end anyway. I did my part. Nobody can say that I have not contributed to the betterment of mankind, that I haven't helped mankind. Nobody can say I didn't do that. I'm not going to worry about anything other than focusing on my relationship with the God that I serve. That's my responsibility. You are not my responsibility. I'm not supposed to be helping the entire world. I ask for that privilege. I've carried out my mission. I am done, literally. I'm, there's nothing anybody can say or do. I hate selfishness, literally. With the passion, I hate selfishness. And all of these ignorant individuals have proven to me that mankind is nothing but selfish. They're only concerned about themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take down the consult. I'm going to stop doing that as well. I do have an individual who did a, requested a consult in December. I told him to get back in touch with me within a week. It's February! And he's just now contacting me. February. Because this is what people do. This is what people do. Because my time isn't as important to them. They don't realize that that's what they're paying for is my time. So he thinks that that buys him that type of time. And here's the thing. He only paid $500 as opposed to the actual fee. So he's only going to get an hour of my time. Because I don't have time for stupidity. I'm a stickler for instructions. I'm, I'm literally, I've had enough. I'm tired of people. I'm really, I'm tired of people. TTOPP, hey, it's going to do what it do. I'm going to make it do what it do. Tax credits, our people, look, they're working on tax credits every single day. They just had another meeting about it privately. They didn't have it with me. They had it with each other because they're working on it as a team because that's how we're doing this. So your tax credits are going to be given to you if you are people who have a sat pack. I need you guys to understand this channel is not a sat com channel. For those of you who think that I run SAA, you got problems. I'm a subcontractor for SAA, but I didn't become a subcontractor for SAA until 2020. Y'all have gotten things so twisted and backwards because you don't listen. So, A, I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I've had enough, I really have. And there are gonna be people who are gonna talk about this and I don't give a, okay? I really don't, I could care less. I could care less. Don't email me, don't text me about this video. I don't wanna hear it. I will block you, I promise you. Okay, no, I'm not going to get over it tomorrow. I'm not going to get over it the next day. You know, I, I now figured out why, man, uh, the young man that I, and I, Lowry, Ben Lowry. I now figured out why Ben Lowry stepped away from all of this. I got you, Ben. You know, it took me a minute. I now, I was talking about where the gurus at. I, I now figured out why they stepped away. It wasn't because they were afraid of the system. It was because they got to know the bulk of YouTube. Like I said, these none of the people who did this were my people. When I say my people, my people know who they are. None of them were my people. These were those YouTube people. You know, y'all you, know the YouTube people. That's who this was. This wasn't my people who did this. Every single person I just told you about, none of them were my people. But I, I promise you, I've had enough. When I say I can't stand selfishness y'all have no clue i gotta go